What's up guys, my name is Zero Heroes and welcome back to more Call to Arms and today I'm going to be doing a Call to Arms tutorial or a, we are coming back with Call to Arms tutorial and it has been a very very long time since my last Call to Arms tutorials which I did cover Domination, Heroes and Last Standing. Now the next two, well I would say, I would say usually next three but the next two I really want to cover today is Com combined arms and armoured combat. Now the reason I'm not doing the three is because I find that combined arms and armoured combat are quite similar to each other. They're different of course in their own ways but they're very they're quite similar. So today we're going to be looking at that and I'm going to be going through what maps you can play on it and I'm going to be showing you how to effectively how to be good in these type of game modes and also um, and I think really that's it and basically just what the aim of the objective of that game mode is if that makes sense So we I hope you guys do like this and if you do want to see more of these tutorials Make sure you leave a like on this video subscribe if you're new because that means I will give you a shout out at the end of the day or the end of the video and also I hope everybody is having a good uh, Week day I know we're back to Monday and I do apologize for no video yesterday on Sunday and that's just because I generally couldn't think of a video for yesterday. I know I've got my schedule which says Unique Sunday, but I have, I think I do have a different idea or what I want to change about that. So I will update on the, I will update on the video uh, schedule for that. So if you, do, if you guys also want to change something, a video schedule as well, then I will leave it in the description down below. Right, so without further ado, let us get into today's video. So combined, we're going to be starting off with combined arms. So combined arms is fight a large, large battles with ground and air vehicles. Now, because the call to arms didn't specifically say, you know, what specific ground vehicles, it's just talking ground vehicles in general. So that is your tanks, your armored vehicles, your infantry, your your support vehicles, literally your everything and of course your air vehicles as well so that's that's quite good now uh, well it's not really good because you can literally do the same with well with that in the domination mode because I, I don't know why these two are just different i don't know why domination and combined arms are the, there because you're literally can use the same units well i think the only thing you can't use is a heavy sniper in this but i'm not sure but we're gonna have a look so this is a 4v4 skirmish game. Now the reason I'm looking over there is because I actually have, I wrote down, I made up in a Word document um, what I need to, you know, give information to you guys. So this is a 4v4. So eight of your pals or eight of you can come together and you can do a 4v4 battle. Now personally, you've got all these maps to choose on. Not a, not a lot of options of maps, but one of my favorite ones is the Delta. And that's because it's very, very different compared to the other kind of maps which are quite similar which you've which you've seen in probably other game modes as well but delta is very different it's a very different atmosphere it's kind of like a industry town based uh, kind of area where you can get into good positions with your infantry you've got some nice tank action you can do as well in that area as well so really really nice um, buildings here as, as well as you can see by this photo but what we're going to do is I'm going to get you what you what you're going to do is once you've kind of chosen your map uh, whatever map you want to choose and eight of your mates have joined then what you're going to do is just you're going to press create and then you get to get to go and your what you're going to do is once this is kind of all once call terms has set this up for you that means you can just mess around with your kind of the settings that you want to you know put extra manpower on it for your whole team or basically give yourself the advantage over the enemy team basically cheat but once you guys have set this up i'm gonna i'm gonna you know once you've done all this bit here i'm gonna be taking you now into the gameplay or into the into the um what's called into the action here of the combined arms and show you how to effectively and to be honest how to effectively and be good at this game mode so Without further ado, I will see you in a minute when I have everything set up and ready to go. So, I'll see you in a minute. Okay guys, here we are. So, as you can see that this is the combined arms game mode. I almost forgot the name of it. But as you can see that I'm using AI just to kind of help in this experiment here and the enemy AI. So, I have gone to German. So, as you can see, we have our units over here. So, we have our typical ground units, our, you know, our infantry, our mobilized infantry. You've got your 
your tank crew. Also, I've just realized that there's no sound at all. <laughs> I've just realized this. I'm so, so dumb. Um, I'm sorry, guys. I just completely forgot about there was no sound. Um, unfortunately, there is going to be a wee bit of lag on my side just because you can see the amount of stuff that is spawning in right now. But as you can see, um, you can see we've got our infantry. We have our support units. Um, yeah, but uh, in this one you can't actually get the, the the elite snipers. Just, I don't know why, I just, you can only get the sniper team. You have your, of course, your artillery uh, stuff over here, over here on your supply trucks. You have your armored vehicles and of course you've got your, your tanks and then you've got your attack helicopters and all that so it is really really fun this game mode now again i've got this kind of on a test mode i'm sorry if everything is lagging it's just because you can see that you know we have everything spawning in so it might be quite laggy so i'm not going to spawn anything in just because i'm i'm just going to let the ai do the work and but as you can see there are multiple uh, checkpoints that you have to take over here and your job as the attacker or because there is really no attacking, no defending. You both have to attack. You both have to take the checkpoints. So your objective is to try and take the checkpoints. And the more checkpoints you... Oh my god, I am lagging very much. The more checkpoints you take, the more points you will get towards earning up towards your main goal. Which in this case is for me, which is 200 points. Now I'm just going to stay back here just because it is very laggy. But... Um, so the more the more points you collect for your team, the more the quicker you'll get up to that 200 point mark. Now I recommend that if because this is a 4v4, I would recommend that you split up your team into into different parts. Or let's say maybe two of your mates want to go one way, and then two of your mate two of your team go the other way. So that means you're kind of divided, and it's kind of an equal share. But as you can see, that everyone. Um, or it's actually four, it's four, so yeah, so two of you go one way, two of you go one way, and then that kind of evenly splits it up, and that means if you're, if you need any reinforcements, then of course your allies can back you up. Now, what I love about, and um, one of the main points in this game mode is that one of the hardest checkpoints is to take is this middle point over here, as you can see, because it is just open you haven't got a lot of cover over here and it is very very deadly as you can see a lot of our a lot of the enemies are uh, dying over here so definitely one of the most deadliest points to take i would say in this uh, in this entire game in this map now but you see why i love this map because it's unique it's different you can see that the men can take up strategic points over here maybe just around the cat points so they have support and um, of course i'm going to bring out maybe just like a heavy tiger or something just to maybe just kind of bring out support in the middle but um yeah it it, it just shows that um it just shows that you know that you can be effective in your own area now kind of going towards the right side of this now if you actually want me to do a map review on this then i can do it kind of map reviews as well and what good points to take and all that but today it's just mostly about just understanding about how this game mode works and how to be effective in it the most effective way in it is working as a team you know saying you know you have to be effective in this game mode to and if you want to win you have to work as a team and that is mostly what it's about you just have to work as a team as effectively and as quickly as possible so you can take the checkpoints get your get oh well there goes our helicopter but um get the points as quickly as possible now you can see that the enemy do have five points over our four but of course that will that will change over time now as you can see that i'm very much lagging so i'm kind of going to take it back here but yeah there you go that is combined arms so again you can choose your different maps you can it's a 4v4 i would recommend if you want to play this game mode i would highly recommend playing with your friends against instead of ai just because it's more fun that way and even though ai can you know be more fun with taking the artillery and all that and bring out different troops and you can see that it's an absolute massacre right now but yeah, I preferably I would just play with some teammates and go from there. So there you go. That is combined arms. Now actually during uh, during this game, well yeah, your key objectives are to capture the key positions, and then the more captured flags you get, the more points you get towards winning the game. If that makes sense. I'm just I'm reading from what I'm seeing off Microsoft Word here because I did write it down. So yeah, there we go. That is how you be effective in 
in this game mode is that you work as a team, you split up your defences in a four in a two v two. Uh, so two uh, so two people go to left, two people go to right, and then if you have some spare troops to on this map, then definitely go down the middle if you can. But of course, with the AI, you can't really do that because the AI just scatter around or, uh, around everywhere. So yeah, there we go. Uh, that is combined arms. So okay. So good stuff. So I hope you guys that is hopefully easy to understand and I hope that is that you've now now that you've learned how to effectively play this game, you can now go off and play it for yourself. Okay, let's now move on to the armored combat. So let's go. Okay guys, here we are. So we have the armored combat here. Now the armored combat is a much, much bigger um, is a much much bigger area to take or should I say it's a much bigger battle because the armor combat is a fight large tank battles and you have to capture a fuel depot now what uh, unfortunately I'm not going to actually um, do all of these because it does last time I tried to do this actually my game lagged and then my whole just recording stopped so I'm kind of just going to take it down to at least three people just because my computer cannot uh, really handle um, handle that much uh, kind of um, the amount of people because as you saw in the 4v4 that was already quite a lot so we're just going to do a 3v3 in this case but you can take up to 16 people up in this game mode it is absolutely insane now call terms have fixed uh i did a massive update on where that it W with multiplayer where you and a bunch of mates where let's say one of you sink out like then the game just stops now that call terms have updated the game it doesn't do that it'll just it'll just the game will just keep carrying on which is why i think they've done this and it's an 8v8 so your objectives in this game mode is to well you can only well what i'm going to do is i'm basically going to show you what's uh, what's going to happen of course you with the delta map you can um uh with this uh, delta map you can there are i would say it's actually meant a uh, roughly same amount of maps as a combined arms but you can choose from different maps again i would go for the delta map just because it's just different and it's a lot more fun and it's a good way for you it's basically a beginner's map i would say it's very much you know a direct fight it's a lot of positions key positions that you can take and it's a good it's a good map for for starting players of this game so what we're going to do is i'm going to be showing you how to uh well basically i'm going to show you what it's like in the gameplay so i will see you in a minute so let's go okay guys here we are so i found out that it wasn't mistake apparently tank battles you can bring out infantry which doesn't actually make sense last time i played this you could only bring out tanks but apparently you can bring out helicopters i don't know if this is a glitch or something i don't know if this is maybe something call terms need to fix but i'm sure last time i played this you could only bring out tanks and for some reason i'm not even getting the uh, you have more than the, the choice of tanks so but i think this is actually a glitch so because you're only supposed to see tanks but i don't know maybe i need to email call to arms about support about that but basically as you can see that this is the ai as you can see in this demonstration of course i've used the ai you can see that they're only bringing out vehicles now the objective in this game mode is that you have to capture key positions again kind of like the armored the combined arms but this time that you have to capture the fuel depots which are kind of well the same as the points last time now because this is i'm only doing a 3v3 now the cap points are kind of smaller but if this was kind of like a 16 versus 16 the cap points would there'd be a lot more cap points but again due to the lag of just my pc i've kind of reduced it down so it's actually bearable for you guys to watch so i hope you guys do uh, hopefully like this but you can see that the ai only bringing out um um, infantry and the occasional um, infantry. Uh, so they, they they're always bring out tanks, but they're only they're only occasional bring out AI just to maybe capture the fuel points which need to be capped. Again, the same as the combined arms is that you need to you need to capture the points, and the more capture points or the key positions you capture, the more of them you capture, the quicker you are going to get to to um, 100 points. Well, yeah, like I said, in this case it would be 100 points. Um, well, and actually, in the, in in the just normal, if you didn't mess with any settings, it'd be 50 points. But of course, in this case, it is 100 points. So, 
and this is what I love. This is generally what I love, just straight out tank battles. Nothing else, nothing more, no infantry, no helicopters. This is what, this is why I love this game mode. This game mode has probably been one of my favorites so far, just because it's just, you do straight out tank battles. Again, I just think that this is a glitch because you're, I think you're only meant to bring out tanks, not helicopters and all that, which is weird, but um, oh, I, oh, you know what I just realized? I think because I'm on the test mode, that's why. I'm on the test mode, so that means that I can basically get unlimited. I get, uh, I get, uh, um, I get access to everything in the test mode, so that's why. But basically, if I wasn't in the test mode, I'd only be accessible to uh, tanks in this. But just for this uh, review I've just done for test mode, just so I can show you guys what you really need to bring out to be effective in this game mode. Now, for this to be, effect uh, to be effective now, I highly recommend that you bring out your most... Yeah, I would bring out maybe a scout at first, maybe a scout vehicle. Maybe if you're going to Germans, I'd maybe bring out um, where well, you're only allowed tanks. So I would maybe bring out... If you were the Germans, I would maybe bring out the SPZ Puma and then start as you and then bring up some more backup with your Leopard 2A4s and your Leopard 2A5s. That's the way to go in this in this game mode. Is that what you want to do is bring be aggressive, try and get those cat points as quickly as possible. And once you have them, you all you need to do is basically defend the moss for as long as possible. Now, of course, that the enemies do have their their T-80Us and their T-90MSs and all that. So they do, the Russians do have some really, really powerful tanks there. So you are going to need to be careful. But of course, you've got your Leopard 2A4s, you've got your, you've got your M1A2 Abrams, you've got, literally, you've got your Strikers, you've got literally really, some really good armor at your disposal with your teammates. Again, if you're doing an 8v8, send six of your teammates one side, one, send another six the other way. And of course, once you've captured uh, those two positions that side put your main force into the middle so that means of course with having some defenses at the at the sides over here so that means you've got something to defend with but of course you know the only main route is trying to get over here but of course you can maybe flank around this way uh, towards the left or if you're going on the on the right side maybe flank around the right but you're going to need to leave some tanks here but mainly you want to try and take those two positions at left and the right and once you've got those be aggressive towards the middle and that means you've got a nice push that means you've got a nice um coverage of kind of the all three caps there and it'll be harder for your enemies to kind of take over so there we go that is it but and that is how you play these two game modes um, I hope you did enjoy this. If you did, make sure you leave a like on this video. If you do want more of, of these tutorials, then make sure you do leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you're new, because that means you will get a shout out at the end of the video. And also make sure you check out my Twitch, ta my Twitch, my, my Twitter, Instagram, whatever it is, because that means um, I do post daily stuff on there about updates and all that. So make sure you go check out the check out my uh, my twitter and my instagram all for that as well so there we go guys that is it for today's video and um, also again if you do want to change anything within the schedule please do let me know or just just check or you can click that link in the description which means you can have a look at it for yourself and that gives you a rough that means you guys are allowed to put stuff in the suggested area if you have any ideas for games or anything like that so there we go uh, I'd just like to say thank you so much for watching as this massacre kind of goes along over here. As you can see, this is just one crazy stupid battle going on over here. It is just absolutely massacre. It's stupidity, but that's what I love about this game. It's fun. It's awesome. It's pan. It's packed. Uh, it, I can't even say the word anymore. It's uh, action packed with lots and lots of uh, of action so there we go guys that is it for today's video um thank you so much for watching and our support and i will see you in the next video see you later and goodbye